Hello everyone, this video is to add a leader tab or dots and in this case we're going to demonstrate um, using uh, perhaps a menu situation. So I have my tandoori chicken here and you can see my cursor is flashing at the end. I'm going to put a leader tab which will put dots to the end of this row. So to do that I'm in my home tab and looking at the paragraph group I'm going to click on the paragraph selector button. Down the bottom of the paragraph dialog box I'm going to click on tabs. Now in this case we need to state where the leader dots will finish. So we're going to have it going right across the page so in my case it will be over here in the right hand margin around about tab stop 16. So I'm going to type 16, press my tab key. To set the leader tabs you can see we have a leader heading here. At the moment it says none. I'm going to choose leader tab style number two. After that we click on set and you can see that the tab stop position changes to that 16 and then OK. Now with my cursor here all I need to do is press my tab key. And at the end of that I can type my price. And when I press my enter key that tab stop will continue because of the formatting. So that's one type of uh, situation where you may use a leader tab going to show the other situation that's really handy. I'll just scroll down my page. Another one that's really handy is to cut on a dotted line or put a dotted line across the page. And I'm going to do a similar thing here. Go to my paragraph group, select a button, click on that one, my paragraph dialog box come down to the bottom to tabs, click on that. This time I'm going to set my tab stop position. I want it right across the page. So I'm going to set it at 18. So you can see I've got 18 way out here which is within my margin area. Again I'm going to choose number 2 tab stop or tab leader tab style. Click on set and then OK. When I press my tab key on my keyboard you can see it goes right across the page. Now you will notice that on the left hand margin it starts of course where the margin area starts. What you can do to go right across the page is come up to your ruler and you can see that you can see the little box down the bottom there that says left indents click on that box and drag it across right to the left almost to the end of the page. You can see the tab stops will go right across the page. Another little handy thing you can do is put a cutting, a pair of scissors symbol to indicate where to cut. If I'm just going to place my cursor right at the beginning of my leader dots I'm going to my insert tab this time at the top here across to symbol click on symbol go to more symbols down the bottom and you can see here that we have wingdings if they're not showing on yours you just need to click on the down arrow Wingdings are right down near the bottom. You can see a pair of scissors. 
which I'm going to select and then insert and then close so you can see my scissors are right at the beginning.